solve e to the ax equals c times e to the bx, where a is not equal to b. Let's go ahead and try to solve for x. So I'm going to start by writing down the equation again. e to the ax equals, and I'm going to leave some room here, c e to the bx. And the reason I left some room here is because I want to use this formula. You have ln of e to the x, that's equal to x. This is a very, very powerful formula. So what we'll do here is we'll take the natural log of both sides so that we can use this formula. So we have the natural log. Well, I guess I could have done it up here. That was the whole point of leaving some room. <laughs> There we go. And I'm gonna insert parentheses here just for clarity. You could put them here as well, but it's really not necessary. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. So you see these go away, just like they do in the formula. So we're left with ax equals. Now here we can't quite use the formula because of the c. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to use a different formula. We have c times e to the bx. So the multiplication should make you think of something called the product rule. The product rule says if you have the natural log of, I'll use u and v, u times v, the multiplication turns into addition. This is the natural log of u plus the natural log of v. So this becomes the natural log of c plus the natural log of e to the bx. Let's keep going. This is ax equals the natural log of c. Here we can use the formula. So we just get plus bx. So we have to solve for x. We have an x over here and an x over here. So let's go ahead and put all of the x's together on one side. We can do that by subtracting bx and subtracting bx. These go away, so we have ax minus bx, and that's equal to the natural log of c. Because we have an x on each term here, we can factor out an x. So this is x, parentheses, a minus b, and that's equal to the natural log of c. Since the x is being multiplied by a minus b, right, there is a times here. To solve for x, we simply divide by a minus b. And perhaps this is the part where we need to realize that a is not equal to b. Otherwise, we would be dividing by 0. So x is equal to the natural log of c over a minus b. And that would be the answer to this equation.